Hello everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is pretty much the reason we came here. Uh, we came, as I said in the prior videos, we came to uh, Camden Market before. I didn't rate it at all. We came late at night, there was very few places open, the majority of which were mass produced, touristy shit. I didn't like it. Come here today, everything's open, including this place where someone said, the Mac Factory, someone said, you've got to come back here. He was actually pretty rude to be fair, saying, calling me all sorts of names telling me that I have to come back for this mac and cheese alone because it is amazing uh, and I won't regret it. So I'm a man of my word. You put a challenge down, I'll come. I've come back to try it. And I've got to say, it looks incredible. Um, this is the nostalgic. The plain, the simple, but hopefully special mac and cheese. Um, this little pot of mac and cheese, seven quid. And I didn't get a drink, by the way, because all drinks I've seen so far are Coke, Diet Coke, or water, or maybe even a Fanta, if they're getting themselves lost. Now, here we go. What do you think, guys? First impressions. We've got a little a crumb topping on, on the top there, look. Here we go, you ready? Wow. I said to the guy, let's dive in and I'll talk after. That's good. Yeah. Not blowing me away. Is it really? Oh, you know, unbelievable. How long takes to get here? <laughs> Hour and a half? Two hours? Fair enough. It's good. I said to him, what makes this mac and, mac and cheese so special? He said, simple, temperature. They keep the temp all the right temperatures. They're playing around with it. Do you know what is nice? But, um, I've had better. How about that? The best mac and cheese in the world? Not today. It talks about some positives though, that we always try and do. A wonderful size Mac. It's not too rich. Normally, a big pot of Mac like this, big-ish pot of Mac like this, would be too rich to eat. I actually feel like I could eat most of this, um, but I'd be pretty full at the end. The cheese, it's delicious to be fair. However, I think it could do with a little bit more flavouring. I'm not sure. You did just get the plain one though. I know, but I wanted to just keep it simple. Keep it, do my, do my thing, you know? They've probably got some really fancy other options that are just gonna mask the base. I wanna just dive into the details, you know? I think what I'm trying to say is, it's very nice. However, I'm not getting that star quality, that X factor, do you know what I mean? You knock this up at home and be very happy with it. How much is it? Seven quid. What do you think, guys? No. Those have been to Camden Market. Number one, do you think this food's any good here? Because we've got all these places along here, look. Serving variants of the same stuff, I think, in a weird way. As you've been before, Jess, all the kebab houses in the same buns. Quality, in my opinion, wasn't quite there. I think we might have to get out of Camden Market, maybe do another couple of more, and go and see some real special places in London. The guy that, I'm not even going to say his name, the guy that put, called me out on this. It's very touristy here, isn't it? Yeah. He was adamant, Jess. The guy that called me out on this? Give your head a wobble. <laughs> I want to give this a respectable 6.8. 6.8. Respectable 6.8. Nothing special. Decent. If I cook this at home, I'll be happy. I think I could cook that at home, to be fair. I'd see, give me some more cheeses. Give me some more level to it. Give me some more depth. What do you think, Jess? I haven't tried it. You want to try them? Yeah. Go on. Creamy, rich. That is good. <laughs> it's good. You like it? 
Maybe I do. Maybe I'm wrong. And that is the beauty of food. Thanks for watching, everyone. Get in the comments and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And that's a review.